Hey boys, I'm inside and I'm gonna do some lessons of the day. So let's see. What you don't have, you want, and what you have, you don't want. That's basically for cheating people. I'm not cheating. I don't cheat on your mother. I never have and I never will. But I do understand about not having what you want or you don't have, you want it. I don't have you guys, but I want you guys. But whenever I use that lesson to help me, this lesson to help me with the other part where when I do have you guys, I want you guys. But it's taken away now. Next lesson. If you can conquer sex, drugs, and alcohol, you're a very powerful man. I conquer those things. Well, not masturbation, but I did it when I was with your mother. I didn't do it. <coughs> but I conquer at least sex and drugs and alcohol, the actual sex with women. So I feel that I am powerful. That's the only thing that's keeping me alive. So I don't drink my sorrows away. I don't have sex until it means nothing. But I'm in misery. So what point does it make? It means nothing. I'm a powerful man alone. Take it as you want, but that's the truth. <coughs> Next lesson. Always bet on greed, but don't be greedy. So I'm learning world in the business world. You know, with your mother, she could easily not accept payment, but she wants money. So she didn't agree with me terminating the rights. Anthony said that she might, she doesn't want it because she might think that I'm still a good father. Well, what does it mean if I'm a good father, if I'm not with you guys 100%? This whole half shit means nothing. I'm not a good father if I'm a half a dad. Fucking fake. I'm not fake. I want to be a real dad. And she's not letting me. Next lesson. Only a fool can expect different results from the same strategy. <coughs> so don't, you know, it's the definition of insanity, thinking uh, different results by doing the same things. Only a fool does that. So if it doesn't work, try something else. If you notice, I'm kind of speeding through these because I want to get done with these lessons, boys. Because these lessons almost mean nothing if I'm not there. So yeah, I'm telling you these, but it means nothing, man. So life means nothing without you and my wife, your mother. So if you notice, I'm just rushing through them because I just want to stop talking, man. I already deleted everything, the pictures and videos. Everything's on YouTube. If I delete it from my phone, and probably next week I'll delete the cell phone from your mother and the cell phone from your grandfather that I was paying. You have to separate everything now because it means nothing. Your mother is divorcing me. Not me. She's divorcing this family. And I have no control of it, boys. I'm a criminal on paper. And that cost me my whole relationship with, with you guys. And they're going to blame me. They're going to say, well, you chose it. You chose not to be in your kids' lives. <laughs> so no matter what, I'm screwed, man.
But what's worse is that you guys are going to be screwed. While we are bickering, while we are pointing fingers, oh, it's your choice. Oh, it's your, you did this. No, you did this. While we fight, you guys will be the ones that will suffer the most. And we're stupid. We are stupid. Next lesson. Love is calculated decision. Don't be fooled by the butterflies in your stomach. That is distraction disguised as pleasure. <coughs> but again, what the hell is love now, man? Love is lie. Is a lie. I thought I found the most wonderful woman. In the moment of, of scariness, she walks out. So much for having faith. She thought God gave her a person that will kill her or kill the family or be dangerous as a criminal. She didn't believe that God would never do that to her. She didn't believe that. She believed that God will hurt her this, this way, so she leaves this family. So I would even change that to say all of it is fake. Every woman has an exit plan. Every woman has a plan B. Every woman is not satisfied. It's not good to be with someone like that. So you almost have to be alone. But you're miserable that way too, so good luck. <coughs> when I'm learning now in these days, boys, women will never admit this, but they know it. There's only one thing a woman is good for. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that. And you know what I mean by that. When you get older, you realize it. They're only good for one thing. Because <coughs> everything else they will destroy. Love only one woman and love her hard, but be calculated. For there are many piranhas in the sea ready to bite. But again, I'll change that lesson of the day as well. Just, it should be just, there are many piranhas in the sea ready to bite, including the one that you love hard. Every, every woman is a piranha ready to bite you. But they will disguise it. Only good for one thing, boys. I think that's it. For now, I still got about 12 or 13 more days. So, it'll go by quick. But I'm ready to go to bed. I'm tired. You guys are probably tired of listening to me. There's so many videos, I think like over a hundred. <coughs> so have fun, take your time. I'm trying to rush in 50 years of teaching you, but no, at least 18 years of teaching you into nine months, 10 months. So it is what it is. I would say I love you boys, but it doesn't matter, man. You guys are going to move on with your lives. Your mother's going to move on and meet someone else. I'm not going to meet anyone because, not because I don't want to, because I want to. It's nature. But it's also nature that I'm disgusted of every woman. I'm so disillusioned, boys, that Every woman is disgusting to me.
I might say sometimes even your mother. Especially if she finds someone else. How perverted and disgusting that is. But that's life, man. The ones who say they love you. Your mother would say, whenever I touch her body and see her naked body, she would say, solo para ti. <laughs> what a liar, man. What a liar. I'm going to bed because that's all I can do. I'll probably wake up because of misery. One of these days, man, I don't know. I'm already thinking about saying goodbye. Because I'm just tired of this, man. I already know exactly where to do it. On the way to Whitney, it's easy. You just turn a little bit to the left, and boom. Just wait till a semi-truck comes by. Say hello to it. Because I'm tired of this bed. And that will be quick. I won't think about anything. It will just come right away. And we'll see what the next world has to offer me. My doubt is nothing. It'll probably just take my memory away and make me be born again in this cruel world and you're a whole other person. Like we won't have no memory. Just continue on and on and on. So... I'll see you guys later. Another day, another dollar. I don't know for who though. Good night and say la vie. That means this is life in French. I'm almost positive it is. I chink so, but I might be wrong. <laughs> That's funny. I just want my family back, man. Why can't I have my family back? Why can't I just dream about it? And I'll wake back up and I'll wake up in, in Bellmead in the trailer inside the bedroom in the back. And, and I'll wake up and mommy will feed Vincent, this life is over. What's the point of continue? What's the point of continue? Life is over. I had one shot and messed it up. I know it's my fault. It's always my fault. I know. Can't you hear me? I said I know. Why can't you forgive me? I told you a million times. Why can't you come down and just say you're forgiven, huh? You make me be in this misery every day. Why don't you come down and... Just... Why you do this? You don't listen to me. I don't want this. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Uh, I just want to go to bed. Uh, I love you. I just need you. I don't know what I'm going to do.
Okay. Good night and have a good night. Uh-huh. I want to go back. Okay, good night. Not a bad time is there. I'm tired. Good night, my one.